this system has a GTX 970 graphics card in it that apparently is not working properly because look at that temperature 92 degrees and it's idle just 3% GPU uses and it's 92 degrees that card's gonna melt so what's happened well it's probably because the fans not spinning so let's open it up and see if the fans spinning or not doesn't look like it and the GPU's not under any load something to keep an eye out on your system look it's 92 93 degrees no load so I could turn all the other fans on turbo look at 93 degrees so I'm going to put the other t fans on turbo before the cord dies full speed so it ramps up all the other fans in the system So I can reduce that temperature, 92 degrees, that's not healthy. Is it coming down? 91, yeah, it's starting to come down. So let's open it up. See if the fan's not... See what's wrong with the fan, because it's not spinning. So it's something... We should monitor because it's not straightforward. There's no temperature gauges, only in GPU Z you get to see the temperature, and it really shouldn't be going over 70 degrees. It's clocking up at 90. That is not healthy for this graphics card. It's not under any load, just 2%. So imagine if I was putting it under load. So let's open it up and see what's wrong. Now is the graphics card spinning? Let's see if you can see. No. They're not spinning. You can even smell the heat. Oh, it's giving off. I can feel the heat on my hand. So the fans are not spinning. That's not healthy. What's the temperature now? 90, 89 degrees. Okay, so let's see if I can get the fans to spin. Uh, I've got something to. Oh, a lot of dust there. Now, look, they were stuck. So it was stuck. The other one's not spinning. I got the other one to spin up as well now. Yeah. So they needed oiling or something. I can feel the heat coming off now that they started spinning. So definitely need some maintenance. Oiling maybe. But they were not spinning and the temperature was rocketing to over 90 degrees. Now they slow down but they're both spinning. So what's the temperature? 54 degrees now, 53. See if I had not checked uh, GPU Z, now it would have been slowly melting my graphics card. Down to 50 degrees, this is why you need to keep an eye on all your temperatures. Fortunately, Task Manager does not show you temperature gauge, not for GPU, not for CPU. But it's straightforward to check CPU temperature. You can just go to the, the ASUS uh, software and intelligent processor suite. And it shows you the CPU temperature and motherboard, but not the graphics card temperature. 
and neither does NVIDIA's uh, control panel show you the graphics card temperature so there's nothing to flag there's anything wrong until you well basically I ran a benchmark for the GPU and it came in very poor and I thought what the hell's going off here let's see if I've still got it where is it Uh, right there. See, I ran user bench and I thought that's not right. Graphics 26%. What was it the last time I ran it? Ran it. Um, last time I ran it, it was 60. 68% and this time it came in at 33% and I went down to the graphics it was 26.6% and it was around 452% last time I ran it so I thought something's not right here so I loaded up GPU Z for, to see what's wrong and it was giving me 88 70 to 80 degrees yeah. As you saw, 92 degrees. That's because the fans wasn't spinning. I couldn't hear them. No, they're still spinning. They stopped spinning now. I think that's because the temperatures dropped over there. So, if your system is a bit old check that the fans are spinning on your GPU before you fry it you might need oiling a little bit of oil oh, they've stopped spinning now that's because the temperature at GPU is 60 degrees now 60 degrees I think they kick in around 60 degrees yeah, it's spinning a little bit the GTX fans you want you yeah, they stop spinning if you reboot or if you close MSI afterburner. You have to keep them. You have to configure MSI afterburner to continuously have them spinning at a low rate when not under load. Otherwise, they stop spinning as this one has. Look, RPM is zero. That means it stopped spinning. It's stuck. To unstick it, I have to basically just remove the panel and get a, a pencil and just hit it, whirl it. I do it, you know, I reboot it about once a fortnight and that's when I do it. So it's getting ready for a reboot now and I'll do that, open it up, put a pencil in the fan so it gets it spinning and then it'll be fine. I just like use it, in terms of usage, just leave it on for a fortnight then reboot and MSI afterburner keeps the fan spinning so it doesn't spin down to zero at a low rate 20% about 500 rpm that stops it from sticking so that temperature is higher than what it should be on idle normally it's under 40 degrees because the fan is not spinning yeah so if I put it under load you'll see the temperature rocket higher just open up this DaVinci Resolver then I'll render something and you can also watch the CPU cores throttling to 100% Just the GPU is fine, look the GPU utilization it's not 20% 20% is it might because it's throttling a little bit, it's going to 84 degrees now So the bottleneck on this system is obviously the CPU. Yeah. So it's running hot, 80 degrees, which means I'm going to prod it with a pencil so you can see what I do. Get the GPU fan running. Took the, unclip the case, get the pencil and shove it in. I should get the fan spinning. You can hear it now. There's two fans, but 
one's enough Whoa, the fan spinning and tack on well it's not showing any change there but look the temperature is dropping fast that's just one fan spinning so do check your fans on these old GPUs because this stops spinning and the temperature rockets up all it takes is a little pencil you can do a routine once a boot all right let's get the other fan spinning as well the both spinning it's still not showing me any rpm i don't know why the temperature's dropped fan speed 33 percent yeah because the temperature's dropped the temperature's going to keep dropping to until it gets to under 40 degrees which is normal for the GTX 970, still under load. Yeah. The wind chill resolves running. That's, that's creating the load, so if I stop it. Yeah. Load should go down. Come on, get to under 40. There we go. Load's dropped and temperature's dropped to below 40. That's normal. That's what the GTX is normally like. Sound 40, under no load, below 40 with some load. Across around 44, 45. Yeah. Only if you're doing something like benchmarking will it go over 50 and you never see 80 only if the fan's stuck might get to 60 uh, low 70s depending on how long it's running what the load is but never 80 only because of the fan sticking yeah the fans yeah I've set it to continuously use the fan at a low percentage even when there's no load that's where you can still hear the fan yeah, so all I did was prod it underneath there's two fans there underneath I just stuck a pencil in and prod it to get the fans to keep moving Mm, have to do it once uh, every reboot if and if afterburn is not running. Yeah, the fans are now settled it. 570 RPM and temperatures at 31 degrees. That's idle.